Okay, I think I'm live. I am hoping I'm live. Um, learning from last week's mistakes, I also... Oh, excellent. I just opened up this on my computer as well so that uh, anyone who is watching, I can see your comments and um, answer any kind of questions you guys might have. So... This is Wake Up Wednesday. Um, I'll be super duper straight with y'all. I'm a lot more tired <laughs> this week than I have been the past couple of them. Um, but there is good news and good reason for that. So I, <clears throat> I think I mentioned last week that I was working on a book that I had had an idea for for over five years um but then I had to kind of pause because I'm gonna have to rework some things with it Sterling leave that alone that's not for you um and so you know I was feeling a bit down about that but I am working on another book um that is season three immortal vices and virtues so I have announced in passing a few times that there will be a season three. Haven't said who all will be in it or anything like that. Um, I can tell you guys that it's MF uh, and Immortal Vices and Virtues. And that's basically all, all I'm revealing for now um, until we have everything finalized. So um, dealio with that. I had been working on my book for season three. Um, I got the idea for this book when I was actually working on Covet Me. And I was really stoked about it. And I really wanted to stop working on Covet Me to work on this book. Couldn't do that. Um, but I have been working on it. And, you know, this week I was supposed to take most of it off. Um, instead, I have been hit by, like, this crazy bout of inspiration. And I feel like my fingertips are just, like, on fire in a good way for once. Um it's been a hot second since I've felt that way. So I, sorry, I space sometimes. Um, I'm happy about this. I'm really looking forward to it. I wrote 4,000 words yesterday and that's like the first time I've written that in quite a while. Um, part of the reason this Wake Up Wednesday is so late is because of that. Uh, I woke up early with my kiddo and once he was off to uh, off to daycare, I sat down and I just started writing again. And that's what I did yesterday. I wrote all the way until it was time to go get him. And today I started and I actually, I only paused because I hit a decent pausing point. Otherwise I was concerned that it would kind of throw me for a loop a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Uh, and this story is my season three IVV standalone book. Um, it's introducing a bunch of new characters that I am so, so excited for. Um, like, not gonna lie. I feel like this season is the season of, like, there's several characters that I've written already in it that are brand new that I'm like, I want to write about you and you and you. And so we'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, so... With that, I figure I'll probably do some announcements. Oh, hello, Charisma, my super duper duper PA, one of one of my super duper PAs. Um, so announcements in terms of stuff. Oh, yes, uh, Patreon. So I believe our Patreon is live. I'm like ninety five percent certain. I need to go post some posts in it. Um, and schedule some posts in it. Um, it was in review for a hot second, so I don't know exactly how that works, but yeah. So I believe our Patreon is live. Um, it's Kel Carpenter and Aurelia Jane, very simple. Um, we did our names so that it was pretty straightforward to find. There's three different tiers, and I think the first thing, I think I'll post about season three IVV. We'll do that, I think. Probably be posting some early chapters from it too. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Some of those. Um, so that's kind of what's going on in terms of like Patreon. And then I uh, I think in the past, last week we talked about Kickstarters, Patreon, special editions, all that good stuff. Um, so Demons in New Chicago books are doing a Kickstarter that will probably be live in August. Um, and then what's it called? Uh, 
Queen of the Damned is getting special edition books. I just don't know when those will be available, unfortunately. Um, that part is like kind of iffy on the whole. So I'm noticing this morning is a little slow. There's not many people watching. That's a little sad, but that's okay. Um, I'll sit here and fold my, uh, my UPS boxes then. So if you want something from me, um, everything with the exception of one, I believe has been sent. Um, and the only reason the one hasn't is because uh, I think I need to, I should probably do that today actually. I needed more boxes, which I just went and got yesterday. So got some more boxes, woo, and now I can send more stuff. Um, but I have sent pretty much everything that needs to be sent for the, uh, the auctions. Um, those will be coming to a close this week, I believe. Uh, so we got some goodies that we'll be closing out with. And when those end, those will be ending. I won't be doing them again. Um, even if, you know, more people are like, hey, do the thing. Like, once it's done, it's done. So... Um, a lot of you should have already been receiving auction prizes, depending, uh, obviously some people it's going to take longer than others, depending on where yours is coming from and who it's coming from and what their life looks like right now. Um, so all I ask is that you be like super understanding with the authors in it, you know, they're like pretty fabulous for doing this and it's super nice of them. Um, but really like no one dislikes, uh, dislikes more um, doing nice things and then kind of like having it bite them in a case. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I know that also most of the Kickstarter boxes have been sent. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, a few of them still haven't been because if you ordered a bunch of stuff, AJ needed to get bigger boxes. So she got bigger boxes and those will be sent in August, which was the month that we set on it saying that we would be sending. So you know, huzzah to people that have already gotten it, um, since, you know, you got yours a bit earlier than other people, and if you are not one of those people that got it early, um, uh, what is that, like, how do you even, what, like, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it folds like that, I, oh, that's really weird, isn't that weird, um, anywho, uh, yeah, I think that's that's most of like the updates. Last week we also talked about audio stuff. Um, so if you're wanting like updates on audio, you can go look at that. Uh, all of the stuff for that has been uh, posted. The other place, if you're ever wondering like when audio is going to release, um, at least in terms of if it's something I've sold to Tantor, all you have to do is go to Tantor.com and you type in my name. And all of the books they have that are mine will show up and it will show you the release date for them. So even if it's not available for pre-order yet or whatever, um, you will be able to see it and the narrators if you go to Tantor.com. And this isn't just me. This is other people too. Um, if you go there, you can take a look at like, I don't know, I'm over here. I'm like, no, I don't even know who sold their crap to, to Tantor. Um but you can find other authors too there that if they if they have it with them, um, Tantor, <laughs> lovely as they are, they tend to post first and uh, then tell us authors after, um, in my experience. So like in the past, before I realized this, like I had them release legit books and never say anything to me until like after it released. Um, so that's... Uh, <laughs> It's kind of funny when you think about it, but also super unorganized. Um, so yeah, but I do I do really like working with them and I think they're gonna do a really great job at producing all of the audio stuff. Hello, Lindsay. Lindsay is our crow of the month, guys. Um, this is a new thing we're doing where we'll be giving away slash me sending package, AJ sending package, someone sending a package to Whoever is Crow of the Month, and that person is whoever interacts the most on Facebook. So we'll be looking at that. Um, ways that you can interact are obviously like commenting on videos and other stuff, um, but it can also be, you know, 
if you drop posts, I want to say that Facebook weighs those more heavily in their algorithms than um, comments. And then comments are weighed more heavily than reactions. So you want to be the crow of the month. You want to get some cool shit. Uh, I heavily advise that you potentially post some stuff. Um, book related is probably probably good to add on. Um, so yeah, I uh, I got my lovely, lovely whiteboard behind me that I still need to hang up. My son came in here the other day and he loves my Expo markers. Like he likes to open them and close them, open and close, open and close. So he sits there doing that and then he looks at the board and he kind of smiles and I know what's gonna happen before he does it. And he reaches over and he just, with the Expo markers. Now, obviously they come off, so like, you know, not the end of the world, but given it's a whiteboard and they come off, the last thing I want is to have to like go back and re-put all a bunch of the dates because I've got dates for stuff that's releasing in French, German, audio, um, uh, Portuguese, Hungarian, <laughs> um, stuff for me and uh me and AJ just like our general ebook stuff and whatnot like all of it it's so the last thing I want after putting work into this is my kid to go whoop and um get rid of all my hard work hello Sydney hello see I was smart today I got the uh the thing my computer set up first so that I could see your comments so that I could respond to things if things came in now of course because I do this I don't have any questions this morning or because, you know, I've been like super great and responding to all of the questions previously. Maybe that's why. Um, we could always go with that. So, but yeah, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about that I've been meaning to say. So I've got a shop and I've got a shop with AJ too. Um, sometimes, and when I say sometimes, I probably mean like 60% of the time. Um, what I've decided to do at the moment with stickers and things like this is I'll just put random stuff in boxes if someone buys something from me. Um, now I'm not going to guarantee it happens every time. Part of that being that I'm so forgetful that like I'll pack a box and then, um, I'm, I'm not going to unpack a box to put extra shit in it. I'm sorry. Um, but I do do that. Oh, yay. Awesome. Lindsay got her Kickstarter box. Very cool. So, but if you got stuff from me, um from the store or some of the auction stuff I've sent out, I've done that with. Um, I'll throw extra stickers in there. I'll throw like my uh, keychains that are like, what are they called? Um, there's a thing, it involves some thread and it's not sewing. Oh. What the hell? I don't remember what it's called, but they're they're like fabricy keychain things. Like they're really cool. They're not like I, don't, I was gonna say crappy keychain, but that's kind of dickish, isn't it? Um, but no. So you know, keychain stickers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I actually threw a mug in with someone's the other day. I was like, hell, who cares? You know, toss it in there. Um, Part of this is like if the box has like extra room in it and I need to fill it, I just end up putting other stuff in there. Um, so the bigger the package you have and the more likely it is that I have to fill it, you might end up with something extra um, ranging from a sticker or keychain to like a literal mug. <laughs> you know, cool times. Um, so yeah, hello, Janet. Hello. Um, I'll try to say hello to you guys as I'm paying attention. Uh, there's no guarantees that I will notice you though. So I'm sorry if I forget someone, it is not personal. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like my store is the, it's Kel Carpenter store cause I'm so unique, you know, of course, obviously. And then um, my store with AJ is Raging Hippo store. Um, so, you know, on AJ and mine, I put up, actually, I put up a bunch of crap. I said I was going to put up Demon's Guide trilogies last week, and I didn't just put that up. I put up some other stuff, too. I don't remember all of what. I think there's some Reject Me stuff, maybe Covet Me. Oh, fuck if I know. I don't know. I don't know. But there's a bunch of books that are up there now. Um, if it's up there, it means it's in stock, whether with me or with AJ. Um, there's no guarantees that anything that is in stock will stay in stock or how long it will take for me to get more of it. So I will tell you if you're one of those people that's kind of waiting because you're like, oh, I'm not sure. Um, 
if something takes a while to sell out, it's very unlikely I'm going to put it back in stock for quite a long time um, because I hate having to hold on to crap. So just a, just a little food for thought there. Um, the reason I say this is I get so many people asking me, Kel, will you do sign books? Kel, will you do sign books? Kel, when will you sign them? When will you send, send them? When will you, you know? So what I did is I, I made a store so that it was a lot simpler. Um, I find like Google, like I know the common thing that a lot of indie authors do is they do a, uh, a Google form. Um, one, those can get really confusing. Uh, like when you pull it up, it pulls up in an Excel sheet and then you got to double check it. And then like, what if you accidentally like delete something um, or hit something? Or what if the person fills it out wrong? I mean, there's a billion things there really. So... I'm not a huge fan of selling things that way. And that was really the biggest, I like it's one of the biggest because not only do you have to do the Google form and go through it, but then like me or my PA have to go through that form and invoice people. Um, and that takes forever. So I needed to simplify the process. And what that looked like was me finally, after several months, and it really did, it, it took me a while. Like I created this store a couple months ago. I just didn't launch it until recently. Um, similar with the Patreon, actually. Um, and so, you know, I did all of this. I put it in the store to make it very simple for you guys. Um, unfortunately, what I'm seeing is that it doesn't seem like a lot of people are all as interested as I was originally told. So I'm going to give it a few months, see how you guys do, see how stuff does. Um... I'll be straight though, y'all. Like if it doesn't do great and it starts costing, cause you gotta pay for stores, you know? Like I'm using Shopify here. So like, gotta pay for it. Um, and I am not made of money. I know this might come as a shock to you guys. Like I, uh, <laughs> I don't write in money trees grow. If that was the case, like, I don't know, man. I feel like, I don't know. Maybe the government would have kidnapped me or something. Who knows? But you know, anyway. <laughs> My weird ass thoughts that I have. Um, people gotta buy stuff if you guys want me to put more sign books up. If there is something you want that is not in it, you are welcome to drop that in the comments and I can take a look and see if I happen to have it and just forgot to put it up or if I can get it. Um, but yeah, so you know, if the store doesn't tend to take off a bit more over the next few months, I probably will end up closing it and not reopening it and probably not doing hardly anything sign book wise. Um, I had a question not on here, but I, well, I get PM'd and emailed these a few times a week. Um, people are always asking me about signings, you know, they're like, yeah, I'll wait until I can get it from you at a signing or this and that. Um, Here's the thing with that. I'm not going to say never because like, I feel like when you say never, you're really just tempting the universe to like make you take it back. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm like, oh, I'm never going to do that. My child will never be like that. Like you're really just saying like universe, make my child that way. Universe, throw circumstances at me that make me do the thing. Okay. So I won't say never, but it is very, very unlikely for the foreseeable future that I will do any events that are not local to me in DC. Um, currently I've got two events next year. Uh, that's Imaginarium Book Festival. That's a big one. Um, I am a sponsor, me and AJ are for that one. Um, we're, we're both signing uh, at that and have a lot of cool stuff there. Um, we also contributed to the swag bags. So anyone that is doing that, um, <laughs> yeah, Sydney, yeah, you might have to. Oh, the other thing I, w I wanted to say, uh, I'm talking about signings. I really get distracted. I know some people had mentioned in the past, like, hey, you know, um, I need something that ships to insert place. Um, I changed both of our stores. They will now ship to, like, if you're Australian, you can buy it. If you're, uh, what's it called? If if you're Ukrainian, you can buy it. If you're, I don't know what, like, everywhere. It, it's set to, like, it should be available everywhere that Shopify has. So, um, you'll have to pay for shipping, same as any other way, but you can buy it. So, that's a thing. Um, back to what I was saying about signings, though. So, there's that one, and then there's Royal Book Bash that I'll be attending. Um, and Heather Hildenbrand is actually going to be at that one, too, I saw. So, that'll be super duper cool. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think like Royal Whirly Book Bash, Book Bash. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> book bashing. I don't believe that that one has sold out at all. Imaginarium, I know, has sold out. But if you're really wanting to attend, I guarantee if you stalk the group, you will have people selling tickets over the next year. I mean, it's it's in June next year. So, you know, leading up to then, there's always people selling tickets. Every single event I've been to, people always are canceling all times a year. Um, oh, look at that, Caitlin. Hey, I love that. I do, really. Like, I... <laughs> it's local to me. I will not back out, I swear. Unless for some reason I'm, like, sick and dying, like, I'll be there, okay? So, it's local, and I am very excited. I am a sponsor. Um, I've already pre-purchased a crap ton of books because... I don't know if some of you have noticed this. Like, if you've gone to other events, a lot of authors have been having issues with printers and shipping. Yeah? Yeah? Not fun, right? So, with that... Um, I'm pre-purchasing pre a bunch of stuff so that I don't have to hopefully deal with it to that extent um, and risk having stuff not arrive in time. And then people, every every people, especially me people, being very sad. Um, of course, if there's something that you know you really want, I always suggest that you purchase it online. Um, if it's available there, that's a really great way to do a thing. Alternatively, uh, I would say pre-order from me. I'll be straight. I don't, I'm, I'm probably, I don't know. I might do pre-orders. I might not. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling on those right now when it comes to doing ones for signings. I did them for um, Babe. I wasn't able to attend Babe. Um, and uh, that was several, <laughs> several thousand dollars down the drain. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, several thousand dollars down the drain. I didn't go. I refunded everyone. Um, I paid for all the fees attached to it as much as, you know, like, it's it was a lot. Um, not to mention the sheer amount of time that I spent planning to go to Babe and, like, doing all of that. And um, all of the special editions we were supposed to have that we didn't get to have because the printer, like to put it really bluntly, like screwed off and screwed us over. Um, it just, it was a total mess. And if you were supposed to be a babe, you know all about it, I'm sure, because lots of authors had this issue. K.F. Breen, Jamin Eve, um, what's her, uh, Holly Renee, I believe. Like there, there was a lot of people that had this issue. So I was far from the only one. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't there, but... Um, because of that, I am pre-purchasing a bunch of stuff. I don't know if I'll be doing pre-orders for things though. Um, if you do want to pre-order, one of the things I might suggest is potentially getting it off my website or my and AJ's website. And, um, if you want it to be signed like at the event for whatever reason, instead of like that, you know, you could put that in the notes alternatively because I actually pre-sign a bunch of stuff. Um, if you're at the event, I will try to personalize stuff where I can, provided I'm not having a flare-up at the moment. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm doing my best to get all of my RA stuff under control so that I can do, um, do events and things like that. Um, but any kind of overuse with my hands is where I get flare-ups. Um, so, fun times there. Uh, yes, Amanda, I was one of the authors affected, unfortunately. Um, me and the entire Immortal Vices and Virtue season one was affected because we had put in a massive order and the printer swore to us up and down, up and down, like for months, months, because I'd been working with them long before. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, they swore to us it would be ready and then it was excuse after excuse and... Like, they told us, like, the day of that they didn't get any of them done. Literally the day of. So, super fun. Um, not. I am working with another printer, though, now. One that also does foiling and edges and all of that awesome stuff. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they do. I'm getting some things printed here soon, actually, so that... Uh, 
I can kind of get a feel for their quality and everything. Um, also, they are printing something that is going in the Imaginarium swag bag. Uh, fun, fun thing for you all. We will be putting a book in the swag bag. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. I may have just done a bad, but AJ is on vacation, so she can't see that I did a bad. So keep it a secret between us because I know she's not going to watch this video. Um, she doesn't have nearly enough time to do that. <laughs> so uh, we won't tell. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, right? Like seriously, as long as you don't tell, like she's, she won't know I said it. So, but we will be putting a book in it. Um, and because of that, I'm probably, I don't want to put that book on pre-order. Um, I'll, I'll announce, I'm going to say this tentatively, that we will announce what book is going in it closer to the event. I want to make sure that everything gets printed and is here because we had to order like 500 copies of it. So I need to make sure that all of those show up um, before I say like, hey, this is the book going in it. Um, you know, because like if I say that and then something happens as the universe does, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You said you found a printer by you that does foiling and all the fun things and you're excited to see what they can do. Oh, you should you should let me know who this printer is cuz you know, the one I'm I'm working with is um out of the country. So it's uh fun times there. But yeah. No, I um I'm excited. I am actually really excited. I went to Book Bonanza recently and I like massively enjoyed going to it as a reader. Um, it's a massive event. It's like 1500 people. At least it was this last year. Um, I think I would have been really overwhelmed going as an author. Um, super, super big events like that and Babe are actually quite bad on my anxiety. I'm really excited about Imaginarium because it's not like crazy, crazy huge. Um, I like that I will hopefully have more time to talk to my readers one-on-one -on -one and that I won't feel like I'm literally just a, um, hi, stamp, next person, hi, stamp. Like, I don't want to be like a, a cashier, <laughs> you know, like, I don't, I don't want to just have like super short, shallow things. Um, I liked getting to talk to people with more organic conversations. Um, and it was a lot easier because I also basically never wore my name tag so that hopefully no one <laughs> would know who I was and I could just pretend to be, uh, pretend to be like trash can Kel for a day. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'll let you know, I got to make sure they aren't hot garbage first. Yeah. Yeah. Much appreciated on that one. Um, I, uh, I have definitely had enough experiences working with people that are hot garbage and it is not fun. It smells like burnt plastic. So, <laughs> um, oh my, the super lovely Heather Renee just sent me something and it's either something of mine or something of hers, but it's a video. So I can't wait to see, um, what it is. Um, Oh yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> she's, uh, she texts me, but I have everything silent so that you guys aren't like dinged constantly. I don't know if you remember, I'm sure you did. If you watched, it was either last week or the week before that my phone constantly kept going off and it was driving me fucking crazy, but I couldn't turn it off without literally closing the live. And if I close the live, I'm done. Like I'm not getting back on something will happen or I'll be distracted. Um, if you haven't noticed, like my, my ADHD is strong. I am one with the force of ADHD. So <laughs> fortunately for me right now, that ADHD has like tunnel visions onto my current work in progress. This does not always happen. When this doesn't happen, it is really hard to write because like while I'm trying to focus on it, my brain is actually going ping pong, ping pong, ping pong between so many things in my head, even if I'm not actively working on them. Um, and what I really need it to do is like stay focused on the one thing I'm working on. Um, all of our lives would be so much easier. Or at least my life really would be so much easier. But you'd get more books, you know, so I guess like, I don't know that that would make your life easier. Probably not. But you know, life might be more enjoyable if my brain would cooperate. Mine too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I am. Um, I don't know if you missed it. So some of you guys I, I have more people on now. Um, we did start a Patreon. 
uh, we did launch our Patreon. It's called Kel Carpenter and Aurelia Jane. Um, I think you can find it. Like, I'm like 90% sure it's launched. I submitted it and I think it went through and it was approved. But then I was like, maybe not um, on the on the approved thing. I'm not entirely sure. I'll be super frank there. I'm not sure. Um, anyone that joins in the first month, um, aka August, uh, if you join the bottom tier, which is the bandit tier and you stay on till November, you'll get dark horse and audio. Um, if you join the middle tier, which is the Hades tier, you'll get dark horse and white Raven and audio. And if you join the top one, you'll get all three books in the demon's guide to the afterlife and audio. Um, so you will own them. They will be yours. There will be no take backsies and you get to keep them. So that is our like deal that we're doing right now is anyone that joins in the first month. Um, and part of that is just, we know that because it's earlier on, like there's not as much content. That said, I will be posting more stuff here soon. Um, one of the things I'm looking at because I have been so focused on this, this book I'm working on means I'm getting chapters. So cool thing. That means that hopefully I can be on time with posting like chapters because the top tier, one of the, like the really cool thing, at least I think it's cool. Um, is that you'll get in, in progress chapters. What this means is they're not edited, so they're not going to be perfect, okay? They're liable to change. There's great odds they will change to some degree. Um, but you'll get them as they are, and you'll get them as I'm writing. So this is something that's, like, pretty exclusive. It is just that top tier um, that this is available to. I actually need to have some names too. So one of the things that I'll be posting is uh, having people vote on names. If you're in the top tier, you can suggest names. Um, so I'm going to say this just because like, again, AJ is not going to watch this. Um, so AJ and I are picky on names. AJ hates like 90% of the names I suggest for guys. So I'll just tell you now that if you suggest something that's really not going to work for us, like there's, there's no, like, it's not going to happen y'all. But provided we like it, um, and, or at least are okay with it, uh, it would end up being something like if you're in the top tier, the things you suggest are then put in the, um, the poll for people to vote of like, Hey, we should name X character, blah, blah, blah. We should name the continent of blah, blah, blah. Like, we should name, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, that's one of the things we're looking at is uh, that will be something that if you're in the top tier, you can suggest the names. If you're in the other two tiers, you can, um, what's the term word? Uh, vote, vote. You can vote on it. It's not showing up on Patreon yet? No, it told me it was. It lied to me. Okay, well, it's Kel, Kel Carpenter and Aurelia Jane, and it'll hopefully be up today then. So I'll just have to go. I know I submitted it. And I could have swore it said it was confirmed. So I don't know. I'll go look and see. I'll have a look see. Um, maybe I just need to hit like publish. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, guys. I'm gonna do it while I'm on call with y'all, because that's what Wake Up Wednesday is all about. Is uh, me me doing the thing. So it's saying create. Oh, share your Patreon. I can share it. So it's actually up. It just means that it's not letting people see it yet. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a super cool person, I'm going to post a link of it here in the comments and see if this works. We'll see. We shall see. Do, 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 do. I just hit post, um, but like, oh yes, it did. Ha ha. Okay, that sucker worked, so it is live. Um, all you gotta do is grab the link in the comments. It's literally patreon.com slash Kel Carpenter and Aurelia Jane, no spaces. Um, I've noticed this with Amazon too, that sometimes if something is really new and like it, they're not seeing a lot of traffic to it yet, it actually doesn't show up, um, even if you look for it. So... And I've had this issue with a couple other authors that I knew they had a Patreon and I went searching for it because I wanted to be on it and then I couldn't find them and then I had to go track down like their newsletter or something where they had a link to it. So yeah, that's also why ours isn't named something like terribly creative. Um, really, that's just so that you guys can. <laughs> I just got a message. <laughs> Well, Lindsay, you are truly the crow of the month. Um, I just got the message I, I saw that you... Uh, doing the, doing the Patreon. Um, so yeah, that's a, uh, 
that's a thing. Um, and I'll post some stuff in there today so that like, you know, you guys are subscribing. I'll post some things. Um, why don't you tell me what you want? Like, seriously, comment. Like, I will, I will try to do a thing like literally today as a like, thank you for actually being on here and listening to me talk. Um, because, you know, I know that I ramble on for God knows how long and people have lives. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know what you want. Do you want like a cover reveal? Do you want like art? I don't actually have any NSFW art in the moment. I have safer work art though. That could be intriguing. Um, what else do I have? I have chapters of things. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to post the chapter for the current, um, thing just yet. I think AJ is probably going to want to look over it before I, I, I post a thing. Um, but, uh, I am, so NSFW art is going to be on it. I just don't have the art yet. I've actually commissioned the art though. So, um, I can tell you that the first one is going to be Queen of the Damned related. So you'll probably have that one this month. Um, super fun, right? Right? I know. Super, super cool. So Queen of the Damned NSFW art. Bam. That is this month. Um, in the future, though, I'll let you guys vote when it comes to, like, what you guys want for NSFW art um, and other art and whatnot. Um, so that you guys are, like, actually getting, like, the, you know, a say there. Um, cover reveals. Yeah, no. So if you want a cover reveal, let's see. What do I got? I got covers for so much crap right now. I can give you, I will give you a title reveal. What about that? I'll give you a title reveal for the first book in IVV3. Um... I think I'm allowed to do that. I don't know. Like I said, AJ's not on. So if no one tells, then it's a secret. And because she has a life, she's not going to listen to this long ass video. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep it a secret. I don't think she'll read the comments either, honestly. So <laughs> when the grown up is away, Kel does <laughs> fuck all, really. Um, but yeah. I can, I can post some of that. I can post, I'll look at some art. I know I got a bunch of stuff that I've like, cause I literally just like, I feel like I compile things. Like I, um, I'm like, I want this and I want this and I want this and I want this. And so like, I get all of this stuff and then I, uh, <laughs> I either don't remember to share or I take like for fucking ever to share. Like in the case of like the demons of new Chicago, like books that I'm doing, like, I had these done almost a year ago, like the, the files, the covers, <laughs> like all of that was done like a year ago. Um, the real thing is like at the moment, I'm just waiting on Kickstarter to like decide not to be a dick and actually let me, let me post the thing as a pre thingy. Um, so yeah. Um, that's another thing. I don't know. I guess I get one of the things I could post in Patreon is if you want a heads up about some of the stuff with like the Kickstarters or whatever. Um, there's that. Uh, you also get a discount. If you do the Patreon, they come with a discount. Uh, I need to make sure I've entered that discount into our stores. So I think I should probably make a note to do that today. Charisma, you're watching. Please make a note and send it to me. Not right now. I'll see it and I, I like I'll forget. Like send it to me in like an hour or something. Um, uh, I'll tell you though with Kickstarter. Um, so with the one that I'm going to be doing for Demons of New Chicago, it's only going to be in hardback. Um, and there is a early bird tier that's only going to be up for like 24 hours, maybe 48, but probably 24. Um, and in that 24 is you'll get the books personalized and signed by me. Um, what I mean by that is I will sign them with my actual hands. Um, so when you get a signed book otherwise in it, and it says this in it, so like, I don't want no one complaining at me because if you didn't read, that's not on me. But... Most people are going to be getting it stamped because I cannot risk signing like 300, 1200, 15 fucking, I don't, I don't know how many. I can't risk signing thousands of books, really. My hands can't do it. Just flat out. I know that. Um, <laughs> if you want books from me, I got to be able to keep my hands. So part of that is I can't overuse them, which is why it's an early bird tier and it is also limited. So even if a hundred of you were to run to do it that day, there's not a hundred available. There's 40 available. 40 total. At least I'm like, actually, no, that's a lie. There's 20. 
20? 20. It's 20 or 40. I think it's 20 though. Um, okay, so yeah, no matter how many of you are available, there is only 20. I will sign them. I will personalize them. I will write notes, like I will write a note in the front of it. Um, so like it is a, a very special edition for people that really want something truly signed physically with my hands by me. The signature is going to look sloppier probably because my hands suck, but signed by me. Um, the ones that are signed will be stamped. It's still by me. So it's like, you know, my hand's still doing it. It's still ink, but it is a stamp. Um, and so that is the difference on that. Um, the art inserts. So I'm not offering art inserts as an add-on at all. That's not changing. So if you're someone that last campaign asked me to add a bunch of stuff, dude, y'all, I learned so much. I am not adding a bunch of shit this time around. Um, most of it is going to be in the form of rewards. If we don't meet those rewards, it's not happening. So art inserts are one of the only things. It is guaranteed and it is guaranteed for the tiers it's in. So one of those tiers is that early bird tier that's in the first 24 hours. Uh, the other one will literally say hardback set plus art inserts. Um, so with those, you know, if you want art inserts, that's how you're going to get it. Um, and then there's the regular hardback set signed. And then there's the regular hardback set. Um, so that, you know, if you're like, hey, I just want the books, you know, I don't want them signed. Um, I don't really care. I just want the pretties for my shelf. That's the cheapest option. So, you know, I created it for people that are like, hey, I want the thing, but I also got to pinch the pennies because I get it. I was a broke ass college student for years. And then after that, I was a, <laughs> a broke ass um, adult because, you know, that's how life goes. Um, you said, don't apologize. I think everyone knows <laughs> that you're unable to sign volumes like that. You know, I'll tell you something though. So like, I think a lot of people do. I talk about it though. I make a point of talking about my chronic issues because I think it's really important. And I know everyone's like, hey, talk about things because bringing awareness and that's a thing. Um, but I also think like, it's not just so that other people feel like they can talk about theirs. It's so that people also understand to some degree that authors are also human. And I know that we say this a lot um, and at least if you follow us, I know that we say it a lot, but authors tend to have a lot of chronic issues. Um, I've just noticed it. I don't know why that is. Maybe our profession tends to attract people that have some of these issues. And so we feel the need to escape into our own heads. It's quite possible. Um, I have rheumatoid arthritis, among other things. Uh, I have celiac disease. So I can't eat gluten. Uh, because of my RA, though, I also can't eat red meat or anything with too much fat. Um, what does that look like, you might ask? That looks like I am almost a vegetarian. <laughs> but I'm not a vegetarian that can eat anything with gluten, so that gets rid of bread or sweets or anything like that. I also can't have much sugar. Um, all of these things cause inflammation. And that's the thing is my body, any kind of inflammation, it goes, you know, when I eat these things, my body says that's bad. So we're going to attack it because it doesn't recognize that it's natural. And so things swell, my joints hurt. Um, I'm fatigued. Uh, I get nauseous so fucking frequently. Um, when I was pregnant, I was sick the whole time. I talked about this a lot. Uh, fun fact though, the way that pregnant women are nauseous, I'm pretty much like that most of the time where I have random bouts of nausea that I just throw up. Um, it's not great. Uh, because of the celiacs and the damage that's already done, I don't process things super well. So vitamins and all of those fun things, yeah, I don't process them easily. Um, so I end up deficient in things quite frequently. So yeah, you know, like that's, that's my day to day. Um, and I think that a lot of us have things that are day to day. That's not like just me or just authors, like lots of people have these problems. So when people are like, Oh my God, I don't know how you deal with it. I'll tell you this. I actually really hate when people say that I deal with it because I have to, this is my life. This is my every day. Um, it's just how it is. Like, I don't know what it's like to not have to deal with it, frankly, you know, 
Like, if you have those kinds of things, you also probably feel that way. Um, not to say that you do, because I never want to put words in someone else's mouth. But, you know, people say this about a lot of things. They, they say, I don't know how you deal with that. Um, and the reality is we all deal with things because we have to. And that's just life. He said that one, my pregnancy, so I can't imagine all the time. Yeah, no, I am nauseous all the fucking time. There's days that I hardly eat um, because I'm just nausage. I, it's <laughs> nausage, na nauseous, and sausage somehow mixed, and I don't know how that happens. Um, but yeah, you know, so this is a thing. Um, and we're still hunting down the rest of whatever else is going on with me, really. Like, the nausea, we don't know for sure what's causing that. Um, I've had it for years, and it's gotten worse over the years, you know? Uh, and as a woman, many of you will resonate with this, doctors love to say, lose weight. Or they just kind of write it off, but lose weight. That's a big thing. I'll tell you, though, I was this big around, and I still had these issues at one point. So... You know, it's life. That's just kind of how things are. And sometimes they're easy. Uh, really, I don't even know, actually. I don't think that things are always easy or are easy. Sometimes they're easier, I should say. And then sometimes they're not so easy. And when I see how many people struggle with these things, this is something that, like, my mom, not my mom even, uh, when my stepdad got cancer and I posted about it for the first time, so many people told me about their stories of uh, their relatives, their loved ones, uh, their parents, their siblings, their friends, like that had cancer, that died from cancer too. Um, you know, and it happened again with my mom. And like, I look at that and it's like, pretty much everyone knows someone that's had cancer to some degree. A lot of us know someone that's died. A lot of us have had loved ones, whether they lived or didn't, that have had cancer. Some people here themselves have had cancer. Um, and that's just one of the major things that we as humans end up having to deal with. Chronic illness is another. There takes so many different forms, but it is. Mental illness is another. Uh, I struggle with depression. Um, I struggle less so now because I am medicated and it is great. <laughs> but I take care of myself. I go to therapy, I work on myself, I do what I can to be a better human so that I can raise a better tiny human. Cause I'll tell you, I will be damned if my son is a shithead. <laughs> and I do all of these things just cause that's, that's life. And I'm not just gonna like sit here in the shit of it without doing everything I can to make things better. But I'm also not gonna like focus on it. So, you know. All of the vulnerability, you're probably going to get from Kel for the next few months on it. Um, but yeah, I, I have my issues. So if you want things that are signed from me, um, physically, like personally signed when it comes to that, uh, take a look at the Kickstarter when it goes live. Um, the lovely Heather Renee, <laughs> yes, please don't raise a tiny shit. No joke, right? Like... <laughs> I feel like that's every mom's like worst nightmare. It's like, God, please don't turn into a shit. Please don't. Like, <laughs> please be a successful person. Like people make jokes about people living in their basement, but you know what? <laughs> like, what about what about the shitheads that they go out and they don't live in your basement, but they're still spreading <laughs> spreading it. Um, your doctor told you you have too much stress. You're a military spouse with four kids, and one is a marine. It's not stress. It's life. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, after I had my son, it was probably four months in, my, I didn't talk about this at the time. I couldn't. I'll just be straight. I couldn't. Uh, my blood pressure went through the freaking roof. Um, I have chronically had low blood pressure all my life. So I actually have POTS. If you don't know what that is, it means that my blood pressure, when I go from sitting to standing, squatting to standing, anything like that, um, my blood pressure can drop dangerously low. Um, and it causes me to sometimes black out and faint, uh, as has happened several times. Usually I get really dizzy because I realize what's happening, but I can't stop it. And I either grab something, 
Um, or I kind of sway on my feet until I get my, my senses back. Um, but I've had chronically low blood pressure all my life. That's what I'm used to. Um, when I work out a lot, it's actually so much worse. Um, so with that, four months after I had my son, my blood pressure was exceptionally high. I'm talking on the verge of going to the ER kind of high. Um, they couldn't figure out why. They don't know. They looked at, you know, anything I was on. They looked at my, my vitals and everything else. And they're like, you got issues, but none of them should cause this. And the reality is, is it was probably stress. And they loved to tell me, they'd be like, you need to get sleep. You need to do this. You need to do that. I said, yo, I got a, I got a four month old. Like, that's nice. Yeah, I do need sleep. Um, that's fucking life. Like how many, how many parents, like that is life. You know that if you have a kid, um, you know, you can't just leave your baby crying in the crib for God knows how long. Like, yeah, I need sleep. Every parent needs sleep. There's a, uh, there's nothing new there. Thank you for being here, Amanda. Thank you. And thank you for commenting. Um, I appreciate you showing up. And yes, I understand a lot of people got to get to work. I should probably get to work here soon. Um, but yeah, you know, so <laughs> it's, it's interesting how that happens. Um, I always say everybody's got shit in their life, whether it's mental illness, physical illness, um, shit that you can't like has nothing to do with your body, uh, you know, whether that's a relationship in your life that's incredibly toxic or something terrible that happens like your house burning down or, you know, your car goes out and you don't have the money to pay for it. Like everyone has shit. And so I'm really mindful of that. Um, yeah, I'm really mindful of that. Uh, I don't, you said you missed the beginning of this combo, but you hope you brought <laughs> Is you're feeling better, not worse. Uh, I'm doing okay right now. Thank you, Heather. Um, I actually was just going to tell all of these amazing people who would previously we had been talking about the Kickstarter and that um, I'm only doing a set number of things that are actually signed, signed by me versus like stamped by me. Um, I was telling all of those super amazing people that uh, why that was um, having to do with my RA. And then I was going to tell them that it will have a short period, um, probably like a week or so, where it will be like, there will be a page and I can direct you to the page and you can like click on a button on the page that's like follow this Kickstarter. Um, and Heather here actually is the one that convinced me to do that because I was totally all for just being like, screw it, let's go live. But with only like, I don't know if it's 20 or 40, maybe, maybe you remember Heather, but with only 20 or 40, um, of the early bird books. I, I figure having that is probably better because it will notify you as soon as it goes live. Heather is a tyrant, oops. Well, <laughs> you're the nicest freaking tyrant I've ever met if that's the case, but uh, <laughs> it works, it works. I'm pretty sure you're like a Hufflepuff, like the most Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, you know? I'm, I'm positive of this. I don't care what the Hogwarts quiz says, like you are a Hufflepuff at heart. Um, you're getting closer to having a full shelf of Kel and Aurelia books and they're all signed. I love that. Uh, you'll have to tell me if you're missing ones, which, uh, which ones you're missing. Um, but yeah, guys. Okay. Is there any questions? I know that we're like, we got people joining and going and joining and going. Um, but I'm going to let you guys go if there is no more questions. So you guys get like 30 seconds and I am wrapping her up then. Heather's the reason I actually got into being a PA. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Heather, because she's a pretty, pretty freaking great PA. Um, your husband said you're not allowed to get more books until I get more shelves. You know, that's a saying. Um, it, there's no such thing as too many books. It's just too few bookshelves. So there is a solution to that. You got a wall, you can put some shelves on it. Um, you said, plus you have a video to watch in your text messages. I know I was talking about that. I told them that you sent me something and I wasn't sure if it was mine or yours, um, that you sent me, but I knew you sent me something that was book related. So I was telling them about it because that's what I do. I just basically like 
ad lib my life as things happen <laughs> while doing my wake up Wednesday videos. Um, but yeah, no, you said demons and the kiss by chaos, I believe is all I'm missing, which will be resolved with the Kickstarter as long as I'm early enough. This is true. This is very true. Um, yeah, the, uh, the freaking the kiss by chaos, that series, her immortal monsters. I don't know if I have that up yet on the Raging Hippo store website, but um, it probably will be at some point. We're debating between whether we're we're going to do that, I think, or um, if we're putting up uh, the hardbacks. Originally, we were going to put them up on Amazon. And if you got lucky, you actually happened to get one in the couple of days they were live, but they were removed from Amazon intentionally, not anything nefarious there. Um, they were removed from Amazon because special editions are something that we're wanting to sell like directly to readers. Um, Amazon and these companies take like 90%. Like, so when you see a book being sold for $30, you're probably thinking like, wow, that author, I'll tell you right now, that author may be getting two bucks. <laughs> My 4 dollars ebooks, I make so much more than any paperback or hardback I have available. They overcharge us out the ass for every single thing. And Heather here, who I think is still on, unless she left me, will attest to that. Um, they charge us like crazy. So I will be selling more stuff directly, which is the other reason I created a store. Um, and that you guys can get it. Um, so yeah, yeah. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to tell you about. There is a special edition that's happening for Kiss by Chaos and Bonded by Death right now. You can pre-order it on the Raging Hippo store. Um, these are like super special. They're the illustrated editions. But here's the really cool thing about it. They're going to be duplex covers. So um, what does that mean? Because most authors don't even realize this. When you open the cover, even though it's a paperback, the inside of it will actually have art on it too. Um yeah, you just priced out a new book and it was 202 for you. Exactly. And you know what happens? As soon as someone raises their prices, they'll be like, oh, it's negative, negative 40 cents for you. That's what they do to us. They'll be like, it's negative 40 cents. So either one, it's no longer available or two, they're charging us to sell our books <laughs> and we get paid nothing. So that is what that looks like. Uh, fun, fun times. I had to go update a bunch of prices recently because of that. Um, yes, if you can buy direct from authors, it is better too. Um, it, I mean, I'll tell you right now, I take a lot of care in my shipping. Um, it takes me to send 10 packages. It takes me at least an hour to wrap them up and label them because I wrap all of them in plastic wrap. And then I've been going beyond that and doing bubble wrap so that the corners don't get bent. Um, and then any goodies that are going in it and then labeling and all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, like we're not a big store, so obviously we can't charge it for the same exact price most of the time. Uh, and if it is the same price, we're probably getting at least a little bit more than our, our negative 40 cents there. Um, so yeah, like I put a lot of effort into wrapping packages for you guys um, because the last thing I want is your postman to just throw shit on the porch and it's raining or you to be on vacation and you know, the weather sucks and then your books are soaked. Or in the case of what I've happened in the past, when I used to send things media mail, packages arrive opened and empty. So if you get a package and you're like, holy shit, Kel, did you use like any package or is it just tape? Because I'll tell you right now, those UPS people will have to cut that shit off with a knife to get it open. There is no opening it unless you use a knife. Um, or, you know, like an X, like a, exacto thingy um you have to use a blade you will not be able to peel it off uh and I do that because I do not want stuff to go missing and I don't want stuff to get ruined so yeah I put a lot of effort into everything I send um so if you do buy something from my store you can know that it comes with love love also like just because I hate the idea of things being ruined because people just half-ass their job or they're shitty and they like steal, which has happened many, many a time, which is why I no longer send anything media mail either. It's the cheapest way to send and I won't do it. I send priority mail. So that is, uh, that is your, your fun, fun learning experience. I should have packed up some of these packages in front of you guys to show you just how much tape I use. I swear 
I probably spend as much money on tape as I do on packages at this point. Um, oh, I'm, I'm really happy that everything you've gotten from me has been packed super, super well and, and whatnot. Like, seriously, I, I do put a lot of effort into that. So I'm glad that it shows. And yes, Heather, there is so much vengeance in my tone because I've had people that they may have only gotten three or four packages from me in the past and like more than one of them arrived either missing or damaged. And what that tells me is that consistently certain post offices suck. Um, so yeah, because of that, I take all of the extra precautions so that your shit arrives and looks right and does not have damages and flaws. I also don't send things that are damaged. So if you get something and you're like, Oh, I don't know. Like it's, it was not damaged when it left here. If that's the case. Um, <laughs> like I will say it if I'm giving something away or selling something that I'm like, Hey, this book is somewhat damaged. Like, no, this, this is not the case. Although I'm actually going to be taking slightly damaged books to the library in the future, I think, instead of selling them. Um, I found out recently that my local library is like super chill with donations and I can just drop them off and I don't have to do anything. Um, so my super lazy self that also remembers what it was like when I was younger, when I couldn't afford jack shit, uh, and I had to rely on what the library had is, uh, is doing that. So I'll be dropping things off at the library and whatnot. And if you have a local library that you want donated to, um, if you can find out one, if they require some sort of form and two, if they allow things to be shipped there, I will look at donating to people's local libraries. I make zero, zero promises, but Kayla, you literally showed up for me to say goodbye, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what's up. Um, as I put in the comments below, I got a Patreon. My Patreon is launched. I am going to go put up some things. If there's something you want to see, drop it in the comments. Or you can post a post. Because remember, that Crow of the Month only goes to whoever is the most interactive. And a PA cannot win it. So even though I know... My super amazing Kayla Perkins is like so active. A PA cannot be crow of the month. You guys are already my crows or my, my flying monkeys. I kind of like that reference a little better. My flying monkeys. <laughs> I want to see your toes. Um, one of my, my, my middle toe is longer than my big toe. Fun fact. I don't know if everyone else is like that, but mine's like significantly longer. Um, I also don't know why you want to see my toes, but hey, I mean... Special unicorn. Yes. Okay. I'm rambling at this point, and I know I have been on for a hot second, um, even though I did start the video a bit late this morning. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys all have a super amazing, lovely day. Um, 